When the time is right and I'm not alone, I will conquer this and bring you home. When this world has stopped and the breeze is served, when the time is right, I'll sing you a song. try and get an image of uh, an old barn uh, just on the edge of the Peak District. Um, I've been to this spot before. Um, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, there's something about it with, you know, having an old barn amongst, um, you know, the heathers and the, and, the, and the brown grasses amongst the ground. It just, uh, just looks really nice. Um, and it seems to sort of stand out in the landscape. So. Um, I've been back a couple of times before um, trying to get sunsets uh, and it's never happened but tonight I thought I'd give it another go. Um, at the moment it's not looking too brilliant. Um, <laughs> the clouds are, are rolling in again. It did start to clear up from where I came from today but uh, as soon as I get to the location uh, it seems to cloud over but uh, oh well that's the way it goes. Um, you know, if you don't try, if you don't know you don't try do you? So, uh, but yeah, this is the this is the image that I'm trying to uh, trying to get, and that's the the old barn, and there's a there's a tall tree just sticking up from from the back of the barn, which gives a little bit more interest. I mean, there is interest in the sky, uh, and there's hills in the background, and these gorgeous um, like marshland grasses in the foreground, which give the foreground some interest. Uh, which is what you want and the the brown yellowy color mossy type grass in amongst that as well uh, gives a, a a combination of nice colors so you've got the grays and the the um the blues of the sky not as though there's much blue in the sky and then you've got the the the, the browny reddy color of the the barn with the the yellow and green grasses in the foreground um i've got a um an 11 to 16 mil lens on. Um, I've got a an ND grad uh, on the on the lens, and I've also got the polarizer on, just to really try and bring out a little bit more interest in the sky. Even though there's not a great deal of interest in the sky, sunset's supposed to be around about 10 past four, and I think we're probably about 20 minutes away from that at the moment. So. Let's see if the, the clouds break up and, and give us an opportunity to, uh, to get a nice sunset. The settings on the camera I've got are, um, we're at a six second exposure, F11, ISO 100, 
and uh, yeah, it looks quite good actually. I've taken a couple of shots, and even though there's uh, there's not much going on in the sky, it still looks quite nice. <laughs> So that's that. <laughs> uh, it's not happening basically. The, the sun's not uh, changing the clouds to a colour that I wanted to change to. So decided to head back towards the car and there's um, a couple of boardwalks that I came across um, to try and get to where the barn was, which I thought were quite good. Uh, it's starting to go quite dark now, so I want to make sure I can get back in one piece without having to scramble through mud and stuff without being able to see what I'm doing. So, um, but yeah, just up here, there's like a it looks like a jetty that's been sunk into the heathland. Um, and it's just worth worth giving it a go. You don't know if you don't try these things. Plus, it's a little bit closer to the car, and I feel a bit safer to be honest because. Uh, <laughs> So I've got no torch or anything, which isn't very well prepared of me, but um, at least I'm going to be close to, to where the car is, so let's, uh, let's just see what this, this does for us. So this is the boardwalk that I'm talking about, um, and you can see the, the composition that I've got set up looking from the back of my camera. And I've gone for a black and white because it's going quite dark now. Um, so there's not going to be much uh, colour to, to, to be picked up if I take a colour image. And to be honest, the, uh, the black and white looks really good and pleased with that, to be fair. Uh, it does make a difference. And like I said before, it doesn't look like there's going to be any sunset or anything, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's just another one of those cloudy days. But I'd say the forecast said that it was going to be breaking up, the sky was going to be a little bit of... Uh, sunshine and, and, and light cloud but I suppose we're in the hills again and, and these things are to be, to be expected but it's it's not been a wasted trip I've managed to uh, to get a nice black and white image I'm quite pleased with that I mean I'll, I'll probably do some ed editing when I get home with it and just to, to try and tweak it to make it look that little bit better but yeah I'm quite pleased with that Cause I was there by your side with my 